Now let's look inside. Process air containing emissions enters the adsorber. It passes up through a series of trays filled with activated carbon beads. Just like the carbon or charcoal you probably use in your house to clean your drinking water, activated carbon cleans the air. When the emissions hit the carbon, it very efficiently adsorbs those emissions. Then the clean air exits out the top of the adsorber. The carbon falls to the bottom of the adsorber and is transported using air from the fan to pneumatically convey it to the desorber. In the desorber, the beads are heated to release the emissions. At the same time, nitrogen gas is moved across the carbon to sweep the emissions in vapor form to the condenser. The carbon moves to the bottom of the desorber and is conveyed pneumatically back to the adsorber where it is reused again to adsorb the emissions. In the condenser, the vapors hit the very cold surfaces of the tube and shell style condenser to convert the vapors to liquid. The liquid is then collected and sold. Finally, a small amount of carbon is continuously fed to the side stream reactivator where it is heated to over 1400 degrees Fahrenheit to remove any residual traces of organics that might accumulate on the carbon. This ensures the carbon remains clean enough to continue to adsorb the emissions effectively. Here you can see what the beads look like when they are fluidized in the trays. When the air blows through the holes in the trays that are full of beads, it fluidizes them, which makes them look a little like they are boiling.